Uh, first, uh, let's talk about, about Chelsea, Chelsea, though. Uh, uh, the Chelsea, Chelsea chairman, chairman, Todd, Todd Bowley's, Bowley's been, been speaking, speaking to the media and, the media and believing that things are starting to come together on the pitch with the, with the team, team playing, playing beautiful, beautiful football, football as well. As well. Uh, recent uh, upturn in results as Richard Pochettino's side challenging, side challenging for the European, European places in the, in the final few games, games of the Premier League, League season. season. It's been, it's a, been a difficult start, hasn't it, under, under the Americans' ownership, ownership. But, but Burley's, Burley's encouraged, encouraged by now, by now what, what he's seeing. seeing. Exactly the way we drew it up. The number of shots we had on goal over those two and a half games, you could really start to see what we were working on coming together. And the commentary has changed you know, over the last two and a half games. I've never seen anything change so quickly. There we go, Todd Foley uh, speaking, speaking about uh, uh, the turnaround uh, for, for Chelsea, Chelsea there. there. Uh, Rory, Rory Jennings, Jennings. How do you, How do you uh, feel, uh, feel about, about this? this? Do you agree, do you agree with, with, with Todd Bowling what he said there about no, this no, huge turnaround and, and everything's coming together, together for Chelsea? Chelsea. It's so, so frustrating. frustrating. I, can't I can't tell you. I don't, I don't, I'm not articulate enough to actually do justice to how much I dislike this man. It's unbelievable how incorrect he is. Nothing's changed. It's not, nothing, nothing has changed. changed. The general, the general consensus of Chelsea fans is that nobody, nobody wants Clear Lake anywhere near, near Chelsea, Chelsea football, football club. club. Literally, Literally nothing, nothing has changed. changed. If anything, this interview that he's, he's done, done has only, only awoken, awoken people, people re re reawoken people. people. Woken them up inside. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe we'll deduce again, again quite, quite how wrong, wrong for, for Chelsea, Chelsea football club they are. They are. Like at, at one point, they say something along the lines of... I don't know, they, 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 they hope, hope that Cole Palmer, Palmer becomes, becomes a household name in America, in America and, and expands, expands our brand, brand in the United, United States. States. Oh. Thank, Thank you, mate. No, we don't. Nobody, nobody hopes that. Literally, Literally nobody, nobody cares, cares about that. that. Everybody, everybody hopes, hopes that Cole Palmer's, Palmer's goals lead to Chelsea, Chelsea winning trophies. trophies. Mm. Nobody, nobody, nobody cares, cares about, about your brand. brand. Nobody, nobody cares about, about making Cole Palmer a household name. In fact, in my opinion, Cole Palmer is already a household name. He's going to play for England at a tournament. He's a household name. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, that makes no sense as well, by the way. And do you agree? Do you know, the way it comes across as well, it really struck me as arrogant, arrogant as well, as this, well guy, this guy in this in sense, sense of just where he's, where he's there, there like, like finally our plan, plan my plan, plan is, is, is working now as if as if, as if this is completely mess, mess that we've seen from Chelsea, Chelsea mm -hmm. has, 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 has been, been this big, big plan, plan all along, along and it was always, always about, about to get, get better. better also, also mate come on you're challenging for six yeah all right that's that's a good end to this season given how bad it's been but come on mate he's talking like they've got to the Champions League final yeah I mean it's it's so frustrating and I think that the you can tell every time he talks at the overall ambition if you use, use the Cole Palmer, Palmer thing, thing. His, his, his point, point is, is that he wants, he wants Cole, Cole Palmer, Palmer to, to help improve Chelsea, Chelsea in order, in order to, make to make them big in the United, United States. States. But that's, but that's the point. point. That's, that's, what he's, what he's, that's what he's saying. saying. At, no At no point did he say anything, anything about Chelsea succeeding. succeeding. At no point did he say anything about Chelsea winning trophies. At no point did he say anything about Chelsea getting back into the Champions League, winning the Premier League, getting to a situation where we can even discuss winning the Champions League. He said words like brand. Uh, and, and eyeballs, eyeballs in the States. In the states. I, I, don't I don't care about, about who cares, who cares about, eyeballs about eyeballs in the States. Literally, not, not, a Chelsea 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 not a single Chelsea fan. Not a single Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea fan. Unless, Unless they're American, American obviously. obviously. But, yeah. But yeah. That, that is, that, that would be, be you know, yeah, it's, it's so, so funny, funny, isn't it? Because, because he's, he's come out to speak just as, you know, there seems to be a bit of positivity coming back. To, to Stamford Bridge, Bridge at least, least because, because of some of the results, the results they've had. had. And, and like, like you say, if I'd heard that, that interview, interview as a Chelsea, Chelsea fan, fan, it would have just, just, you know, completely, completely taken, taken away any of that, that, that optimism, optimism I've, I've, I've had. had. If, if we, we do, do talk, talk about, about them on the pitch, pitch though, because I was up there, their win over West Ham on Sunday, they were brilliant, actually. West Ham were woeful, but I thought Chelsea were were absolutely fantastic. How are you feeling about Maurizio Pochettino at the moment? Because it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a relationship. Um, um, with, with, with you, you, you and, and him, him. <laughs> in terms <laughs> of you and your, and your views of him, him as Chelsea, Chelsea manager, manager, how do you feel about him at the moment? moment? It's, 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 it's very, very difficult for me here because, because I'll, I'll be totally, totally honest with you, you. I never I really, really liked him. him. He's, He's so, so synonymous, synonymous with Tottenham Hotspur. Hotspur. In, fact, in fact, if you think about if you think about anyone who is so representative of being Tottenham, like the archetype of Tottenham man, Harry Kane aside, I think Mauricio Pochettino is the personification of Tottenham in the last decade. So I'm so never going to like, like him. I'm never really going to want him at Stamford Bridge. Is that, is that in the in sense that, that you, know, you know, fairly decent, decent but, but always, always fails, fails on the big, big occasion? occasion? Yes, there's, 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 there's most, most certainly there's, there's most certainly that. that. But, but he, he also, also presided, presided over one of the most hateful games I've ever been to. You know, when his Tottenham team capitulated in their pursuit of the league title at Stamford Bridge and basically you know resorted to trying to kick Chelsea off the pitch in a very Tottenham way, in a very Tottenham way, you know, he was a manager and. Do you know, Do you know everything, everything about him winds me up? Like, you know, people call him Potch as if they're his mate. That winds me up as well. Like, like I, don't I don't like him. I don't really want him at Chelsea. However, however what, I what I do have, have to concede is, is that, that if he ends up somehow fluking his way into the European spots, which he may well do, 
Is it flu? Is, is that fair? fair? Is it fair? Is it fair? I think the reason, the reason why we may make it into into the European spot is because Manchester United have gone so wrong. Mm. Like the like reason the we're going to get there, like let's face it, Chelsea have been woeful this, this season. Yeah. Yeah. Think, about Think about some of the worst performances, performances that you've seen from Chelsea, Chelsea ever. ever. They probably, they probably all occurred under Mauricio Pochettino's Pochettino watch, watch this, this season. season. Like, the, like, the Arsenal, Arsenal result alone was sackable. Was sack, was sack. mm. What happened at Arsenal? That's our worst ever result in London Derby. Our worst ever result in the Premier League. Worst ever result in London Derby in the Premier League era. I mean, QPR done six 0 once, but in the Premier League era, we've never been beaten five 0 And the way that we got beat five 0 I think he should have been sacked at half time. However. The best, the best form that we've played, played all season has probably happened since that, that, game. Exactly. Since that game. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. So, so, do you know what's funny, though? Do you know what's, funny, though? Though? Is, do you know what's interesting? Is something I noticed, and this was after the, the Spurs, Spurs game as well, was weirdly, weirdly as well, was, was arguably, arguably one of the best performances of the, of the whole, whole season. season. But, but what I noticed, and after the game on Sunday, the 5-0... No one's, no one's singing Potter's, Potter's name. name. No, no, nobody will. will. And, and no, no one will. will. And no, no, no one no, ever no, really will. will. You, you imagine, imagine, even, even if, if they go on to do... Even if he goes on to do great things. things they're no, singing he'll, he'll Chelsea, but there's, there's no bond. No, there's no, no bond between the manager and the fan. How important actually is that for you, though? If he's winning for Chelsea, do you really care if there's not a big bond? I mean, you had Rafa Benitez, who the fans all hated. Well, not all of them, but most of them hated. And he still do. Yeah, and still do. Despite the fact he won a Europa League. Does that, Does that matter, matter to you? If there's, if there's not, not a relationship, relationship there with the manager and the fans? Yeah, I think yeah, it does matter. matter. I think it does. I think part, part of... Even part if they're bringing success. success. Part, part of supporting, supporting a team. team. You, you, don't you don't only support, support a team for victory, do you? You support, you support a team because of what it means, what it represents, the feelings that you get, the friendships that are made along the way, and the commitment. You know, the lifelong, expensive, time-consuming commitment. And I think that when you have somebody in charge who clearly isn't... Chelsea, Chelsea doesn't, doesn't love Chelsea, Chelsea doesn't, doesn't particularly, particularly want to be at Chelsea, Chelsea is there because it's a job for the furtherance of his career. I think it dilutes what you get out of going. It dilutes what you get out of supporting the team. So yeah, I think it does matter. I think you need... I will honestly say that one of the most... You know, if I think about the best seasons I've ever had following Chelsea, like like I think that the late 90s were brilliant, but I was at an age where I was so impressionable and that Chelsea team was wonderful. You know, the Zola, Di Matteo, Frank Burns, Marcel Desai. It was a wonderful era. Dennis Wise was so relatable. I will always love that team, probably more than I'll love any other team. But I would also say that when I think about over the years, the best seasons I've ever had following Chelsea, I'll go... The season when we won the league, the first season under Mourinho, Lampard taking the ball round, you see Yasko at the end in the rebreak, one of the best things I've ever seen. The, the Antonio, Antonio Conte, Conte season, season was right, right up there. there. Yeah. Right, 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 right up there. 2012, 2012 was, you know, like a fairy tale. tale. Mm. But honestly, but honestly I, don't I don't think, think I've, I've ever enjoyed, enjoyed it more than when Frank Lampard, Lampard was manager. Was manager. We, we, we had a we transfer, transfer ban. ban. We had a we transfer had a ban. ban. Mm. We, we were in the Champions League with our youth team. It was... We lost Hazard. Yeah. And, and we were we singing, singing, you know, you know Tamori, Tamori at the back, back Tammy, Tammy in the attack, attack. Lampard's, Lampard's going to win the Champions League. That team actually went on to win the Champions League, just not with Lampard. Lampard. Mm. But, but the reason why that season felt so brilliant, and in, and in the space of one week, we went away to Tottenham with Lampard as manager, we won. We went away to Arsenal with Lampard as manager, Abraham scored in the last minute, we won. It was, it was so, so wonderful. wonderful. It, it felt, felt so, so pure. Yeah. pure. Mm. So it was the right man. So out of, out of interest, though, so if Pochettino next season, let's say, won a, won a, won a, let's say won the FA Cup, mm. something like that, you'd, you'd probably still, still enjoy, enjoy that season. I'm never going to love Pochettino. I'm never going to love him. I'm never going to sing his name. I don't really want him in charge. I don't really want him to be there. I don't really wish him well. I want Chelsea to succeed, but he's a byproduct of that. And, and ultimately, ultimately certain, certain managers don't, don't fit at certain, certain clubs. clubs. Mauricio Sarri didn't, didn't fit at Chelsea. Rafael Benitez didn't fit at Chelsea. Rafael Benitez didn't fit at Everton. Mm. Roy Hodgson mm. didn't fit at Liverpool. Mauricio Pochettino doesn't fit at Chelsea. Mm. But, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean, mean needs must and all that. Is he the best manager for the job at the moment? We've spoken previously about the lack of managers out there. We've spoken about the lack of managers out there. Does Chelsea need more upheaval? Does Chelsea really need another manager, another sacking, another pay, another... I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think, I don't they, think do. they do. Uh, and, and I think, I think at the think moment, moment, even if you can't warm to him, him he's, he's probably, probably the right, right man, man uh, for the job, the job at Chelsea, Chelsea at the moment. At the moment. Uh,